Like the sticky sweet ones you stick on ones. Oh! Which ties into the fruit cake thing. Marvelous. What? Oh, there we go. Problem solved. I mean. Oh, right. Uh, I should also fuse the Master Sword or something. Oh, yes. I did say that when I got the Master Sword, I would fuse it with a Silver Lionel Horn. So I am. There we go. 55, 30, 20. 85 damage! <laughs> oh dear. Right. You sound smart with computers. Fair enough. Uh, why was the first type of alcohol I drank? But I have no words to explain any wine. Red wine is better than white wine, in my opinion. It depends if you're drinking your white wine warm or cold. White wine definitely needs to be chilled, whereas red wine should really be at room temperature, as far as I'm aware. Red wine I like, but I can't drink vast quantities of it without risking a hangover because of the tannins in it. I can drink probably more white wine, but like I said, it has to be chilled. I don't mind rosé, uh, but yeah. It's like with when I'm out on a cratty course. When I'm on a cratty course, I'll drink lager over ale because of the tannins in ale, I'll end up with a worse hangover. And I can attest there is nothing worse than doing a cratty course when you have a hangover. Uh, on the last one, after a, an incident where I was fed many glasses of whiskey completely against my will, I should add it. <laughs> I was very not well the following morning for training, and I very much admit that. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, all you would get with a certain cocktail like an old-fashioned. I like an old-fashioned. Shockingly enough coming from me, but yeah, that's the only cocktail I've drank in recent memory. If you ever end up in Amsterdam, go to the Bulls... Uh, well, if, you, if you've if you never been on the tour, go for the gin tour, uh, the history of... Uh, the gin museum tour at the Bulls... It wasn't the distillery, but the Bulls shop. And it's an interesting tour, and at the end of it, you end up in the secret in the secret bar at the back of the shop. And not only are the wait the barmaids brilliant at making the cocktails, but at the same time, the cocktails are very nice. The old I had the superior old fashioned, or the very old fashioned. I forget what it was called. I had at least one of them, maybe two. Either way, very very nice. That was a very nice drink. That would be a very deadly thing for me to drink. Unfortunately, at the time when I was in Amsterdam, things were going on that I didn't feel like having a lot to drink, but we'll gloss over that. Um, wine is vinegar, so I don't care what anyone says. It depends. If you if you have a decent wine, some wines are vinegar. Try. Uh, here's one for you. Here's one for you, hoodlum. And I'm calling you out specifically on this one. If you ever have the funds available, try the Gentleman's Collection. Lindemann's Gentleman, Gentleman's Collection number three. That's what I usually drink in terms of red wine. It's a normal red wine, but it's got a splash of fortified wine and a bit of splash of port, basically. Very nice. That's my chosen drink. Or, alternatively, use the rule, my rule of thumb of basically the majority of the price you see on the label on the, sh on the shelf, it's tax. At least here in the UK. I can only speak of the UK. I don't live anywhere else. I've never been to the States and in Japan it's different. But in the UK, the majority of the price on the tag is tax. So obviously if you buy a £5 bottle of wine, you're actually buying a £1 bottle of wine because £4 of it is tax. So you have to go for a bit of the ex more expensive one, but at the same time you can sort of get one. There is a bottle of wine I had recently. I think it was a rosé. I can't remember what it's called. You can tell what it is, though, because the label looks like Wiblu has bought a farm. There is an ostrich, and there is a barn being catapulted. Very weird. Very nice wine, though. I quite enjoyed it. I've, I've, it's not often I get wine that tastes of vinegar, so take that from that what you will. Unless Fruity Echo Falls. Yeah, fair enough. Never had Echo Falls. At least I don't think I have. Uh, Fraser Red Wine is my favourite. Fair enough, never had Fraser's either. Um, you should be the Fraser of whiskey. Oh dear. Um, hmm. 
Oh, I, I inherited a lot of dessert wine from my dear grandmother. I can attest, I don't like dessert wine. Uh, I'm going to stick this as that again. I don't like dessert wine. It's far, far too sweet. I mean, if you like your sweet drinks, you might enjoy it. But for me, nah, it wasn't really my... It was. It's not really my cup of tea. I'll I'll sit there and drink it, but only in small quantities. Um, right. So we've got that stretch there. I have also just realised I've wasted a massive amount of stream time by talking about alcohol again. I apologise. <laughs> Sounds like a giveaway. What does? Oh, me giving away free bottles of dessert wine. Yeah, no chance. Um, I don't know what I'd do as a giveaway. But let's face it, there's a lot of things as a streamer I should do that I haven't. I should probably set up a throne at some point. Though admittedly, I'm in no rush. Um, mainly because it's a case of... What, do I have people buy me games? That's not going to work. I could put a few books on that I'd quite, enjoy, uh, I'd quite want to get. But I can't guarantee when I'd read them. Um, figurines of waifu. There we go. If I ever set up myself a nice cabinet where I can display my stat my anime and gaming statues, I'll start set up a throne for anime figures of waifu. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Right, there is a thing there. It is a Hinox apparently, but it's miles away, so I might have to actually use a thing. Um, so night. There we go. Use an auto build. You should set up one of those streamer raid clips everyone does. What? You mean like when I've raided Wiblu in the past and it's just a clip of me saying the word penis? <laughs> I mean, sure? That does remind me, over the Christmas break, I really need to get round to um, finishing up a few more community compilations. I might just mass upload them, if I'm honest, or at least try and set them on a schedule because I think I still have a couple of community compilations knocking around in the back end. By the way, if you haven't checked out the community compilations on the YouTube archive, I recommend giving it a shot. There are some quite entertaining ones, I freely admit. Also, be you a chatter, be you a lurker. If you ever see anything that inter that you think is entertaining or funny or whatever, don't be don't be shy about clipping it. If you don't like the bot calling it out when you clip, then by all means let me know and I'll turn that function off. But for the most part, I'm perfectly fine with people clipping. also means that we've got some stuff that people can see <laughs> whenever I raid a channel with the with the the clip thing on and I've just found a new location in this game that I have yet to find marvels I suppose doing all these mini bosses has its perks um I get why people do them but I'm not one for the usual streamer stuff like graphics or the highest bit donation the streamer clips and everyone else needs to go on I know. I, I can sort of understand these bits and pieces, but still, I just, the way I look is it, I just do as I do. That's it. Simple as. Excuse me. I'm not going to worry too much about it. I don't see any point in worrying about it. Excuse me, gentlemen. Have you heard the word of the spiky stick thing? I call them arrows. Wow. Wow. Ow. 83 damage plus the glowing master sword bonus and it still takes me more than a couple of hits to, sm to smite those guys. I don't know how I feel about that. Secluded Colosseum? Wait, have I not done the Secluded Colosseum? Hmm. It's just for the viewers to have fun with the streamer in some way. I wouldn't need anything like that. Most of the time to chat takes the piss out of me anyway. <laughs> 
Oh, it's good job I'm so laid back, isn't it? Well, laid back, I suppose. Unless somebody tinkers with the lore of a game I enjoy, in which case, probably not as laid back. Well, you, you get what I mean. At least I hope you get what I mean. Bon, like what now? Um, I've done this Colosseum. What is this Colosseum? Oh, wait a minute. Is this the... <laughs> I think this is the... Wait, where am I? Oh, I... Oh. Did I just kill that high knock? Oh, I have no idea what I've just done. No, no, I took out this monster camp. I didn't kill anything. Any boss should be over here, shouldn't it? Oh, everything is sort of merging into one now. I don't know how I feel about that. Come on. You are not forgetting about Bon Job already. Oh, that one. Oh, that was me throwing up one of my jokes. Yes, yes, okay, I remember that now. I thought that was a reference to something else. <laughs> a piece of media that I have yet to see. Okay, fair enough. Yes, fine. Fine. Fine, chat. Right, how quickly... I'm going to wait for the health bars to turn up on this guy, actually. I want to see... What's his oh, that's taking a large chunk of his health off. Ah, they finished him off for me. Okay. I'm sure that's a clip, anyway. That was last stream, wasn't it? Ow! Stupid gloom. Right, I drop that. It's one of my lowest tiered weapons. Drop that. That's also a lower tiered weapon. Bows. No, I'm okay. Right. Where am I? There we go. Right. Let's get rid of that. Stream moment of the year has to be has to be get on the floor and do laundry. Well, thanks to Nin10, we have that clip in the archive, don't we? I don't know, I'm still quite fond of the the, the bottle girl thing, of uh, the, the bottle people thing, but you know, whatever. Um Right, okay. So, oh. definitely the high knocks I've just deleted. Right. So, if I zoom in the map a bit here. Uh. Why have I put a stamp on this mine? Ah, that might be why I put a stamp on that mine. I don't think I've got that listed as a location.
Or defeating the Almond Bros and Kwame too. You know what? Out of the funniest, maybe the get the get on the floor and do laundry, but in terms of the most hype, yeah, I'm going with that. The Almond Brothers and Kwame too. Ah, that wasn't this year though. I think it was. What have we done this year? We started with Arkham City. I don't. Ooh. I don't think that was this year, was it? Uh, into the vortex. By the way, yes, we do have a website of our own. By the way, uh, into mm, oh, not I can spell it. The vortex.co.uk. We have a website, by the way, into the vortex.co.uk. Give it a check. It's pretty new. I think it's pretty good. Um, no. No, it isn't. That was last year. This year we've done Yakuza 3 Remastered, Batman Arkham City, Spyro 1 Remastered, or the Reignited Trilogy, and Tears of the Kingdom. We've only done four, four games this year. Kawami 2 was last year. Kawami 2 was in... Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Um, last year, 2022, we did Yakuza Kawami, Breath of the Wild, Ghost of Tsushima, the Iki Islands, Into the uh, the Yakuza Kawami 2, Deathloop, and Batman Arkham Asylum. I'm sure it was. No? Although, hold on the, the flip on. You've been playing this for nearly seven months? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Um, How many games do you think you'll get through next year? Hopefully more than this year. <laughs> uh, right. Sorry, we'll get back to the game in a minute, but this uh, we need to work this one out. So, in year one, we went through Kingdom Hearts... Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1... Kingdom Hearts 365 days. Oh no, that was a movie. So Kingdom Hearts 1, 358 by 2, Kingdom Hearts 2, Crypt of the Necro Dancer, which we never finished. That's technically an ongoing, but I'm not going around to it. Metro Exodus, Birth by Sleep, Starter Studio, Stardew Valley, never finished it. Uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses, did only the Black Eagle story, the Outer Worlds base game. And uh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts Recoded, technically a movie, so we'll class that as 10. We got through 10 things. Year 2, we got through Luigi's Mansion 3, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, Kingdom Hearts 0 0.2 Birth by Sleep, Fragmented Passage, uh, Kingdom Hearts Back Cover, Kingdom Hearts 3, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which I really need to re revisit one day, Ghost of Tsushima, the base game, uh, the Outer Worlds Peril on Gorgon, the first DLC for the Outer Worlds, uh, Super Mario 64 to full completion, and A Hat in Time to full completion, uh, to, um, 100% because we never finished all of the tricks to stop. So that's another 10 games. Year 3, we got through Cyberpunk 2077, at least the base game, uh, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory, the Outer Worlds Murder on Eridanus. I loved that DLC. Uh, Yakuza 0, the game that inspired me to stream in the first place. And The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD, which was five games. Year 4, we got through Yakuza Kiwami, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Ghost of Tsushima Rike Islands, uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2, Death Loop, and Batman Arkham Asylum. Seven games. And then this year we've got through Yakuza 3, Batman Arkham City, Spyro the Dragon Reignited, and we're in the process of doing The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which we may not even finish, so free to four games-ish. So there we go. Five is long. Yeah. <laughs> A 
a lot more since No Tears of the Kingdom. I'm hoping that. I am honestly hoping we get through more games next year. I've already got on the list. After Tears of the Kingdom... Sorry, I'll get back to the game in a minute. After Tears of the Kingdom, I want to get through, in no particular order, Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion, because that's not been on my backlog for years. I want to get through Super Mario Sunshine, at the very least. I want to get through Batman Arkham Origins. I want to get through Yakuza 4 Remastered. So that's four games. I want to get through the Cyberpunk 2077 Phantom Liberty DLC. So that's five games. If possible, I want to get into Arkham Knight. Six. Uh, Yakuza 5 at some point, hopefully. Ooh, Super Mario Galaxy. Spyro 2. That's it. Nine. So whether or not I get through all of them is debatable, but I wouldn't mind if I could. Because I don't have Tears of the Kingdom taking up seven, eight, seven to eight months of my time, hopefully that's possible, but we'll see. All the other Yakuza games in Kiryu Saga are taking around 20 hours for an average playthrough, whereas 5 is around 60 hours. Well, if we transfer that into Ezio time... It took us. It takes us about a hundred hours per Yakuza game, so Yakuza Five is probably going to take me about two hundred hours, unless it's Tears of the King's level, the Tears of the Kingdom level, at which point I will be playing it for three hundred hours because that is how long we've put into this game so far, and we're still not done. So there we go. Also, how did I manage to sort of do a backflip and then land on the robot again? Oh, well, whatever. Right. Mm. We'll try and do this. Oh. No, not so much for that one. Oh, that's not it. I hope we are ready for a month of Ezio and the first of Yakuza 5. Oh, don't say that. Why? Is it because I get lost or is it because there's so much to do? If it's a case I get lost, I'll probably ask the Oracle at some point. If it's a case of there's so much to do... Probably. Probably. If it's a case of it's difficult, also maybe, probably, I don't know. Let's face it, it's going to be me basically hammering my head against a wall in some description. But for that, I don't mind, because I love Yakuza. Out of Sega's prop... Uh, profits. I wish I had Sega's profits. No. Out of Sega's properties, I don't really care for Sonic the Hedgehog, but I most certainly care about Yakuza. I just... I love that franchise. I really do. I've not finished it, but in terms of the characters, I mean, the reason I wear these red shirts, I have a Yakuza jacket. I love Yakuza. If something happens to Kiryu in Yakuza 8, or Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, if you want to call it the daft title, I'm going to be devastated. Absolutely devastated. Also, I've just realised my can of cider is vastly out of reach. There we go. <laughs> I love that man. I really, really do. I am never saying you of the why you are in the forest though. But all I know is that somewhere between Yakuza 3 and Yakuza 8, the only Kuma returns. And for that. I'm looking very forward to things. Also, one moment. No, if Spawn's past Yakuza 4 yet. Neither do I. But either way. Treasure chest. That's a thing. 
I'm guessing because it's not marked on my dungeon map as anything in particular, it's probably just going to be a bunch of crystalline charges. Go, yeah, it's just a list of a bunch of crystalline charges. Oh, well, whatever. It's still a location on the map mark, so that's one less thing for me to pull my hair out over when we get into the later part of the game. There is a talus apparently over there. Question is, am I going to walk it? No, I'm lazy. I'm going to use the flying hoverboard machine that I created. Could also go and hunt for Zonite in this place, but I think I've got enough. Also, 3,000 crystalline charges, really. Let's mark that as a normal stamp. There we go. No, sorry, a special stamp, even. But yeah, hopefully I can get through a couple more Yakuza games next year. That would be nice. The thing is that it's not just Yakuza that I'm trying to catch up with, though, is it? I'm also trying to catch up with Judgment, which I count as part of the Yakuza franchise run, so... I don't know if the Judgment games actually tie into... Oh, it's a Frost Talus, isn't it? Right, well, because I can't be bothered faffing around with using fire, I'm just going to use my Frost Protection. I don't know if the Judgment games actually tie into Yakuza, but it's the same universe, so I'm gonna I'll quite happily join in on that. Oh, it's put it in a stupid place as well. Hey. Uh, yeah. I hate when they put the geodes in this place. I can never get to the blasted thing. Got it. I always feel kind of bad when I have to leave the stone talus heart behind, but I don't have any weapons that I can fuse it to. There's really no point. I can fuse it to that one. Ooh, I can fuse it to this one. Okay, I'll fuse it to this one. Did I literally just fuse the stone talus heart to my shield by accident? Yep. Yeah, I literally did just fuse the stone talus heart to my shield by accident. Okay, fine. Well, that's a new shiny shiny. I'm sure we'll find a different shiny shiny later on in the game. Oh, dear. Might skip Pachinko and move on to uh, move on and rip. I know. I know. Oh, well, it is what it is. Uh, map. There we go. Right, so our next point of call is a another stone talus, which is over yonder. However, I've got a flying machine, haven't I? Something around here. There it is. I might not even need to move this one, actually. I could just get on it and fly it in a random direction. Whip. There we go. The story stuff and major stuff at that. Oh, fair enough. Still beginning of Yakuza 4, but I don't mind spoilers either. Just let me know if I need to practice. Okay. Yeah, whereas I'm not going to practice because it's me. What I'm going to do is I'm basically going to load up Yakuza 4, run around and be really confused and get distracted by every single side quest there is in the game. Because it's me.
Hopefully the pool doesn't have monstrous AI like the previous game did. Oh my luck, it probably will now. Ah. I thought the walls were supposed to be marked. You know, the black things marking the sky high what game really really door okay fine whatever I don't know what that number is. Um, sorry, give me a minute. Fine, that's fine. Fine, that's fine. Fine. Cool. Right. Sorry, I need to check something. Weird phone call, but whatever. Spam filter got it, so I assume it's just spam. Yakuza 4 and Yakuza 5 have multiple characters with their own karaoke song, sub-stories, mini-games, etc. Kind of sucks to keep track of who does what. So long as the completion list's in the game, I will be fine. I mean, it's not my first rodeo in terms of playing as multiple characters, because, let's face it, we did that in Yakuza 0. Will I be sad because I'm not Kiryu all the time? Yes. Will I enjoy the new characters? Probably. Will I enjoy their fight styles? That's a different question. Can I get absolutely OP? Yeah, hopefully yes. You have four now. What, from Yakuza 4 onwards? Oh, well, fair enough then. We'll see. We'll see what we get. It'll be all right. I'm sure it'll all work out in the end. Um, like this. Right, that's... Huh? Oh, that's pretty robust. Yeah, four characters. One, you kind of messing Yakuza Zero. No, it can't be that dude. He died at the end of Yakuza Kiwami. Um. Also, I saw the trailer for Yakuza Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Waifu-chan has returned! I knew they were gearing up for something with her. Don't know if she's in the game. I, I put my hands up. I've never played... I, don't, I haven't played that. I haven't played the man who forgot his name or whatever it's called. But I saw her in the trailer. I knew it. I knew that they were gearing up to bring her back at some point with how she was in Kiwami. It would have just been foolish not to. Also, strong female character. Who was awesome? You, you, you just you just can't ignore her. One of the characters is kind of pointless too because he doesn't add much to the overall story, and he is in that game only. Eh. Fair enough. As long as he's fun to play. Um. Did I just get what was I got? What was in that treasure chest? I don't know what I just found in that treasure chest. I'm going to be honest. Was a piece of gear. I shouldn't have pressed that button. I don't know. I don't know what I just found, but I found something. I'm guessing it's crystalline charges. Either way. Um delete. Danamora, he had to retire because of addictions or something. Wait, what? Uh right, okay. So I'm guessing that was the voice actor or something. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it, eh? I mean, granted, it will probably be in a few years' time, but still. Uh, right. I've done a thing. I don't know what I've just done, but I've done a thing. You know what? We'll go the long way round. Why not? I intended to do, but sure. 
Windows is determined to get me onto Windows 11. Entirely possible, but if it's not going to run on your system, then that, so be it. If, you, if your PC is compatible with Windows 11, if it can get the upgrade, go for it, because Windows 11 is now running quite stable. They've got out of their usual Microsoft nonsense beta period, where basically they release the operating system and then fine-tune it over the course of a year. If your system can't run Windows 11, then I don't know why it's still reminding you to do it. My system's running fine. All of the massive bugs have been worked out. I've not had any trouble with Windows 11 for at least the last six months. The only issues I've had have been pretty much with my hardware. It can run it, I just don't want to. It run as, as far as I'm concerned, it runs the same as Windows 10. Some of the back-end stuff's brilliant. The scheduling stuff, I think, makes things a tiny bit snappier, but that could just be a placebo effect. In terms of other bits and pieces, I don't see any difference, honestly. Some annoying interface things, yes, but that's with half of the course with most copies of Windows, if I'm perfectly honest about it. As it stands, though, it's been fine. Can't complain too much. Now that I've put my start menu in the right place, if nothing else. <laughs> Just realized I'm still wearing my Rito gear. <laughs> Change that now. Thanks, Tullin, you great plonking goober. Right, let's switch my gear back round to my normal outfit. yeah in terms of windows 11 you do you i can just say that all i can say is it's been fine been fine for me all my games run fine all my system runs fine i've had no massive issues with it after the first few months of release but with windows you have to remember with windows you should really give it about a year after a new windows operating system comes out give it a year because they don't beta it. What they pretty much do is they release it, people complain, and then over the course of 12 months, they patch the operating system so it's in a workable state. 11's been fine. 11 is... It's... However, I will add this proviso. WinEuro Tools. I recommend downloading that, even if you're on Windows 10. Because it allows you to turn off all of the back-end telemetry stuff that Windows Microsoft sneaks into the Windows operating system. Because Windows, they say, is a free upgrade, but it isn't. It's basically they're farming your private information. So that's what I've done. I've gone in and I've fine-tuned all the back-end of Windows. So I've turned off all the telemetry and etc, etc, etc. So it all works a bit better. There are a few things you can't turn off. Uh, say that again. WinEuro Tools. I think it's called WinEuro Tools. Give me a minute. Um... Where did I say? Ba, 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 ba. Desktop. Hmm. System tools. The win. Ah, win arrow tweaker. A E R O. Win A E R O. There, oh, just put it in chat. Win Euro Tweaker. That's what I use to. I've got that on my system. So I basically go in and I fine tuned all the various bits and pieces in the back end of Windows. You couldn't for the while turn off Cortana without breaking Windows indexing. So I left Cortana on, but I can turn off all the telemetry stuff. And I can fine-tune a few things back to the way they originally were. 
Also, don't forget that in Windows 11, you've still got the classic control panel, as far as I know. Ooh, where are you? Give me a minute. Um... Yeah, you've still got the classic Windows 7 control panel in Windows 11 as well. So if all else fails, you can still use that to patch up bits and pieces as you wish. No, the, uh, Windows 11 isn't too bad. 